power wash the inside. Uh, there's also no oil in it, so we gotta add oil to it. I think it's. Uh, you drained it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good idea to replace that. Legendary car. Sat since 2007. So, we're gonna. Well, I don't know if we will be able to, but uh, the owner will start the restoration of it. And my friend is helping him take out the seats because he's going to be cleaning everything. The key is missing on this car. He got it as is. So there's quite a stuff that needs to get done. And uh, yeah, he took out the fuel pumps and everything already. So we're going to, you know, he's going to order new parts for it. Needs new tires. But, yeah. Okay, so since we have no key, we're gonna just uh, try to jump this. There's this wire right here that we're jumping for the starter. I'm gonna jump it directly to the battery positive and then just make sure it's not touching there. Hold on. Get off of me, bug. All right, uh, you're gonna hold it for like two seconds, all right? Do I do it? Yep. A little more. Keep holding. Okay, the battery's just dead. The battery's just yeah. dead, but the engine moves, okay? That's it. It's a good sign. Yep. So now, like I said, buy the oil for it, buy the filter, oil pan gasket. I'll send you all the parts and everything, okay? Um, and then, yeah, let's just power wash this engine bay now. Just uh, go ahead, cover these holes and that. Alternator will be fine. Don't worry about it. Should it's going to be okay. Bags? Yeah, bring some bags if you have some. And we'll, we'll clean the air filter as well. Okay. It's got a bunch of hay everywhere. They're going to replace these filters too. Look at that. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't uh, let this car go, man. This is an amazing car. Just needs some love, care, time, and you know, all these, a lot of these parts uh, on this car, original from you know 1987, never been never been changed. So, like I said, like, I'll send you all the links and everything. You can get all the parts for it, and just slowly, step by step. I mean, you're you're a handy guy, so you can do all this stuff. You know, it's it's pretty simple. It's lots of resources. If you need help? You can text me. You know, we'll get it running yeah and then you got to really experience driving this car once you get it back on the road and everything i mean it's driving this car is it's a different feeling than just you know you know right now i understand you're, you're like oh man it's like a lot of work but mm -hmm. you will feel really good once once the car is running and everything yeah that right there it goes it covers the ignition coil which is that guy right there yeah Excuse but me? leave it leave it alone for now we're gonna power wash all this we're washing this thing And carefully everywhere here. I wish we had like a, a soap or something, but it's okay. Let's get this junk.
I'm clogging the drains now. Right there? Here. If you can reach it, oh. The funny thing is like someone painted these valve covers previously too. It's like uh, it's got fresh paint on them. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. You can see all the gold now. This is now. Material. Uh this is like a foam kind of material. Yeah, this is from the factory. Yeah. Clean all these hoses. Make them nice. Good enough. Okay. Again. Another machine is gonna get saved. Clean the engine bay on it. Looking so much more amazing. The owner is gonna order some parts, so I'm not gonna get it running right now. But I can reassure you this car is gonna be back to life. It needs a lot of stuff, but slowly but surely it's gonna come back to life. Yep. The engine turns and everything. He's just gonna change the oil, do the oil pan gasket on it too, and he's gonna get other parts ordered too. And finish detailing the interior, and then take care of the key situation. It's even got the factory radio, look at that. Thing is badass. That's cool. All of these switches, pretty hard. I have made a video on how to loosen up these which is it's a pretty common issue but yeah right now what we're trying to do is take this door handle out so he can go to the locksmith and maybe the locksmith can cut him a key because everything is locked right now yeah but without the key it's kind of I, I used to be able to do it on some of the models but this one if you pull it out enough and then twist it it's gonna come out but it's like not enough space here Okay, filter all cleaned up in that area. I'm gonna put it all back in now. And he's gonna have to order a bunch of parts for this car. It's cleaned up. So we're gonna reuse this filter for now, but then later he's gonna buy another one. We took out the rear seat and the shelving. We gotta try to open this trunk now. Came with a new oil filter. Yeah. So we'll see if we can open it. There's got to be something in that area to open it. All right, we got the tail light out. Just like my method. At first I was trying to get those two latch bolts out, but it was a big pain. Um, yeah, so doing it this way now. It's kind of, you have to do it by feel. The tailor is all good, it's not broken or anything. So yeah, this car is getting all the love, slowly getting, you know, cleaned up and everything. The engine bay light now looks pretty good actually. So yeah. I look like Grease Monkey, probably. Saving old school cars because only these cars are worth all the love and care. Only old school cars, nothing new. Okay, Grandpa, second, uh, second bolt is about to come out. Wiggle the trunk lid, up and down. Oh, shit. Okay, stop for a sec. Okay, a little bit more. Oh, it's an entire procedure for this. It's crazy. I'm just turning one of the bolts there. Oh! That's great. Yep. After a couple wow. hours, man. I bet it has a spare tire on it. Should. I would assume if it had a key. Maybe it has a yeah. key in here. Dude, look at the spare tire. It's like brand new. Shit's new, new. 
Bro, look, the tire itself too. The tire is like from the 80s. Ooh. They don't make such a tire anymore. Holy cow. Even the the factory here, the, the instructions for the lug bolts and stuff. There you go, man. <laughs> well, that usually stays with a spare tire, but... Man. What a day. That's crazy. So, yeah, I have to undo these bolts. So these bolts, they will go back here. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna mess with this one a little. Get this thing to, actually it will come out here once I push it. Okay, so the trunk is open. Now took out this lock assembly. I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Uh, he's gonna try to get uh, the key for it, hopefully. And uh, yeah, this is all back in. And then it's weird because this uh, needs a new gas door actuator because it's like you when you push it in, it should stay in, but it's not. Yeah, and then I disconnected all the vacuum hoses. It may need just to be uh, lubed up or, you know, WD-40 sprayed on, but yeah. Man, this trunk hasn't been opened in forever. Hold that. Let's see, I might need to readjust this a little bit. Okay, now you can just open it. There we go. Cool. Okay. It's got the lights on. There you go, they're working. Cool. Nice. Obviously, we don't have the key yet, but let's see, the rear lights are also working. Yeah. Okay, one of the plate bulbs is out, but that's okay. Nice. Very cool. She'll be back to life at some point soon. Okay, guys, it's a week later. We're back. There's some progress that's been made to the car. Yep. Uh, waiting on a bunch of parts. So, yeah. And he's still going to get the, the lock key. Hopefully the locksmith will help us out and cut the key for this car. But yeah, there's some stuff that still needs to get done, obviously, and we still have to wash it. But we made a decent progress last time. And uh, yeah. Got fresh oil filter. Can we change that? gonna go right here we already cleaned that cap we need to put some oil on it yeah you just set it on top and then just put the bolt right here back on like that and then you don't have to tighten it crazy hard you know it's uh it's like not not a lot, you know. Okay, so that's done, and then next part, the owner will take out oil pan, clean it. He will put the oil pan gasket on, and then he will put the fresh oil in and air filters. So we took this out because the there's no brakes and brake fluid is low, but brake fluid is still there on this side, not on the other side. But this, these seals are bad, will have to be changed, but we're gonna clean this reservoir in the meantime. Okay. So this is how much of 
debris is inside, we're gonna clean it out. I covered those already. I'm really clean now. It's gonna be clean. Got some goodies for the owner. Some sponge, car wash stuff, and this amazing model. Hopefully that will give them a lot more motivation to, you know, keep restoring this machine. <laughs>